everyone, this is Charles Wallingford back again, and this video is a little bit different than all the rest because this will be my first cigar video. Yes, this is my first cigar video on the Charles Wallingford channel. I have other cigar videos. You can check them out on the Minority Report. So please check out my friends Falcon and myself on the Minority Report. But what we're going to go over today is the Chronicles of the rookie cigar smoker and that's what I am I'm a rookie cigar smoker but believe it baby I'm gonna be rookie of the year so let's go over my first nine sticks starting out my very first cigar which I did on camera was a Baccarat the Baccarat was nice and it was sweet it was mild but it might as well have training wheels on it that is a definitely definitely a brand new rookie beginner cigar but it wasn't that bad then I moved on to uh, Rocky Patel 1999 my good friend Style Khan he said he's never had a Rocky Patel he didn't like it. I tried it didn't like it didn't like it seemed like it was just too mild to me but nonetheless I went back to try some more cigars to my uh, local cigar shop and that's Aphelion. Aphelion is a great shop and we'll talk about that another time but uh, that's where I get most of my cigars from. Then I went on to try the Gurkha 125 or Gurkha 125th anniversary. That was a very good cigar. I enjoyed that cigar. That cigar uh, had a lot more body to it and I was not ready for that much body also. It, uh, and it didn't happen until the end, so that was good. But I felt a little weird, a little queasy. Um, I didn't get a headache though, but I was like, "Ooh, this is a different, this is a different, different feeling that uh, I usually don't get." But I still had a good time, and the, that buzz I, I acquired was not so bad. I moved on to the Gurkha Seduction. Now, the Gurkha Seduction is the same body is a medium body cigar but it seems like I enjoyed it a little bit better maybe that the flavors were a little a little bit different to cause me to like that a little bit better but I, I love I like that cigar then I moved on to the Gurkha Grand Reserve that was a good cigar I'll, I'll come back to that uh, then I moved on to the Monte Cristo white series I went looking in again, Aphelion, my local cigar shop, and it was a fellow cigar smoker in there. And I'm looking around, and he was giving advice. I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, I'm open to anything. If you've been doing something longer than me, you have more experience, why not? So he said, this right here will be perfect for you. It's, it's mild, it's not too harsh, and it has a, a good feeling, and it knocks your socks off. And I'm like, okay, all right. He said, in fact, if you don't like it, I'll buy you a new stick on me. I'm like, oh, well, all right. So I tried it, and I was like, I don't like it. Did not like it. Went back to the cigar shop, and they said, uh, yeah, well, that's not our, our deal. That was his deal with you. And I'm saying, I'm fine with that. But where is the guy? He was like, I, I don't know. He's, he's not a, a regular. So a regular, a person that's not a regular made that, made that uh, deal or whatever with me and it was claiming that special cigar was so great and it wasn't and he wasn't there. But I wasn't deterred. I was like, I still want to get a nice cigar. What can you help me with? So again, I told you I'm at Aphelion where I'm from in Gambrels, Maryland. They suggested the, uh, the um, Asylum, Asylum Insidious, Asylum Insidious, and that was a very good cigar, and I'll get back to that also. I enjoyed that cigar a lot, and I'll get back to that. Cohiba, I tried a Cohiba, it was a Dominican Cohiba. It was a uh, rather uh, short Cohiba, I believe it was uh, either Robusto or smaller than a Robusto. Um, I found out that I don't really care for smaller cigars after smoking that and for some reason it didn't hit me. I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't, it didn't taste like anything special. It was mild again. 
and it was just, I didn't get anything out of it. Uh, also, it was the Cohiba Red Dot, if I didn't say that already. Then, I moved on to another cigar shop near me, and I'm not going to mention the name right this second, but they're near me in Gambrels, Maryland also, and they suggested the the um, Angelos or God of Fire Angelos by Arturo, Arturo Fuente. And I have to say that was a pretty good cigar. It was a pretty good cigar, but they, that also helped me bring to the conclusion that I like larger cigars. I enjoy larger cigars because when I got towards the last third, I did not like the cigar. It, it changed to a, a completely different cigar, and I know that is similar, uh, brought on by the fact that I like larger cigars. So let's recap a little bit. The Baccarat, I probably won't try it again. That Rock Patel 1999, no, it's not gonna happen. The Monte Cristo, not a chance. And the uh, Cohiba, no, won't happen. The Cohiba Red Dot won't happen. Uh, if somebody offered it to me, I'm not gonna seek it out. I would go for that uh, Gurkha 125th anniversary and the uh, God of Fire Angelos by, uh, by Arturo Fuente. I would go for that again if somebody offered it to me in my early days. I'm talking about right now my early days where I'm trying to try, trying to find myself and try to find all these wonderful cigars and find out which one is best for me. Now let's talk about my favorites. My favorite, number three, is that Gurkha Seduction. And I have it right here. And I have purchased that cigar again. I want you to see that. Let me get that on camera better. Okay, all right. The Gurkha Seduction. That is what you should definitely look into. Right here, the Gurkha Seduction. I enjoyed it. I bought another one. And I'm in my early days, so that means a lot. I should be trying as many different cigars as possible, but I wanted to have this one again. I truly enjoyed it, and I do, for if you're a new cigar smoker, give this a try. Now, this is medium body, so slow down with it. Or you could you could get sick. Make sure you eat something, and, and um, it's not the first thing you have in the day. All right? Next, number two, the Insidious. Insidious, Asylum Insidious, all right? You get a closer look, there you go. That's my second favorite cigar. I love the way it smells, I love the way it, uh, it, it uh, smokes, and this is a large cigar. Yes, it is. I don't know how to say this without saying this. I like them bigger. Like them bigger, I don't know. Yeah, uh, honestly, I don't like the last third so much. The first two thirds is what I enjoy better. The last third, I don't really care. So a lot of times I don't finish all the way through. And so if, if I was like, they have really small uh, cigars called nubs, I probably wouldn't try a nub at all because it would ruin the experience for me completely. And I am not going to smoke a cigar uh, quickly. I'm not going to smoke a cigar when I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to have plenty of time or I'm not going to smoke it. And last but definitely not least, my absolute favorite cigar right here. This is the Gurkha, the, the labeling's in the way, but this is the Gurkha Grand Reserve. Gurkha Grand Reserve. It will be very easy to distinguish, it will be very easy to see, even though you don't see the label, because they're not going to come any way but this way, and you will definitely enjoy this cigar. This was a wonderful cigar. This cigar is, uh, was uh, infused with, uh, what is that, um, cognac, is infused with cognac, and you can smell this cigar. Uh, this is a uh, wax seal. I'm not sure if the, if the wax seal has this scent, but this is the exact scent of the cigar. And uh, it smells so good. It smells so good. And that's the, that is a big thing with me. 
I'm big on scents and smells and tastes. And this doesn't smell like, it tastes like a regular cigar. Maybe the purists would be like, oh, you're not really smoking a, a good cigar. There's a lot of other cigars that shouldn't taste like, no. Mm -mm. This is good for me. And that's what, that's what counts. What's good for you? Okay, everybody. That was my first rundown, my first video solo about cigars. I hope that helped you if you're a brand new cigar smoker. If you're uh, not a uh, new cigar smoker, hey, maybe you, you saw something that you didn't know before. Great. If not, hey, help me out. I'm Charles Wallingford. That's how I spend my money. How would you spend your money?